Let's talk about Santa Claus. Santa Claus stands for Saint Claustrum, which is the holy anointing oil that is produced in the brain. It falls down the spine, which is known as the Shishumna in India. And that's where we get the word chimney from Shumna. That's why Santa goes down the chimney. The cerebral spinal fluid goes down the vagus nerve and it feeds every organ with this essential fluid. And that's why Santa goes down the chimney. This is why Santa gives presents to all the people in the world. We're told these stories as kids, you know, Santa Claus and these other fictitious stories, and they're meant to be broken down as beautiful allegories, allegories of the kundalini process that's necessary for enlightenment or light in the mind once we become illuminated. The Christos oil or the cerebral spinal fluid, whatever you want to call it, this oil is carried by our frequency. The higher the frequency, the more the liquid is able to rise. As above, so below. Low frequency light becomes matter and high frequency matter becomes light. It becomes illuminated. So your cerebral spinal fluid is able to rise because it goes from a liquid to gas. It goes from a dense to less dense. Liquid silver is quicksilver. It is living silver that turns into gold when it reaches the brain. The snake is the low frequency oil which is represented by the rod. And the wings represent the oil in its highest form. We must be as wise as snakes, but as kind as doves. That's why when the snake rises and gets its wings, it becomes an eagle. Look at it this way. Mercury holds the staff of caduceus or the staff of wings and serpents. Mercury, liquid metal, in room temperature, like in a thermometer, is when the snake has its chin to the ground before it rises. Mercury sublimates into a gas just above room temperature. Hence, the energy becomes light. Light is a feather, like a thermometer with red mercury that checks our temperature. The oil at the base of our spines goes from dense to less dense. It becomes less dense when we raise our frequency through love. By the way, another word for mercury besides quicksilver was Argentum vivium, which means living silver. It is the living waters in the Bible that if you were to drink from them, you will never thirst again. It is the fountain of youth, elixir of life, the holy grail with the blood of Christ inside of it. That is in your skull. That is the cerebral spinal fluid. The star at the top of the pine is your pineal gland shining at the top of your spine. As we raise our frequencies through love, we can heal ourselves and others. It is the greatest gift to humanity. Merry Mass Christening, everyone.